Chapter 16. DJ. DJ skipped up the 30 flights of stairs to Mrs. Jewel's room. He was grinning from ear to ear, from nose to chin, from here to there and back again. Hey, DJ, Todd shouted. Glad to see you. Todd was a pushover for smiling faces. Mrs. Jules heard him. She began to write Todd's name on the chalkboard under discipline, but when she saw DJ's smile, she put down the chalk. Good morning, DJ, she said. What are you so happy about? DJ grinned and shrugged his shoulders. Mrs. Jules smiled. Damien looked at the smile on Mrs. Jules' face, then at Todd's, and finally at DJ's. Then Damien smiled too. His smile was almost as big as DJ's. They were best friends. Once they saw the two of them smiling, the rest of the class couldn't help but smile. Rondi had a very cute one due to her two missing front teeth. Nobody had an ugly smile. Jason came to school late. He was very upset. But the first thing he saw was Damien's smile, and he felt a little bit better. Then he saw Rondi's toothless grin, and he began to smile a little himself. But when he saw the piano on DJ's face, he fell, laughing, onto the floor. Everybody started to laugh, even Kathy, and she hardly ever laughed except when someone hurt themselves. The whole room seemed to be laughing, not just the people in it. The chalkboard chuckled, the ceiling snickered, the desks were jumping up and down, and the chairs were slapping one another on the back. The floor was very ticklish. It laughed until the walls turned purple. The garbage can started to sing, and all the pencils stood up and danced. Finally, things began to settle down. Mrs. Jules wiped her eyes and said, DJ, why don't you tell the class why you're so happy? At least let us know what we're laughing about. But DJ just kept on smiling. Ah, uh, come on, DJ, said Dee Dee. Tell us. DJ didn't say a word. He couldn't. His mouth was stretched out of shape. Let us guess, said Ron. If we guess right, will you tell us? DJ nodded his head. His smile began to hurt his ears. Everyone took one guess. Have you been swimming? Is it your birthday? Are you in love? Did you get a green ball? Nobody guessed right. At recess, DJ was still smiling. Lewis, the yard teacher, called, Hey, DJ, come here. They walked to the far corner of the playground where they were alone. What's up, DJ? Lewis asked. DJ just smiled. Come on, DJ, you can tell me. Why are you so happy? DJ looked up at him. He said, you need a reason to be sad. You don't need a reason to be happy.